I know my brothers, when the part when it says, okay, put in tape two, we're uh -huh. like, what? It's a two part movie? Yeah, I'm gonna call myself out. I have never seen Titanic. <gasps> oh my goodness. I am not a big movie person. That's just me. I know. You have to, but you have to dedicate about four hours and two yeah. different VHSs. I have to. a hard time sitting through a one and a half hour movie, so maybe one day I'll watch. I can break it up into two parts. There we <laughs> go. Today and tomorrow, we're going to be on the windy side ahead of our next cold front. That is going to bring our next best rain chances heading into Election Day morning. Until then, like I said, warm, humid, and breezy, if not just hot today and tomorrow. We've got 90 degree afternoon temperatures today, which could be challenging a record high of 91. Now tonight we're still windy and gusty that along with high humidity makes our morning temperatures about 10 15 degrees above normal if not closer to 20 usually this time of year our morning temperatures are 60 degrees thankfully we are going to see those and our afternoon temperatures drop into the upper 70s heading into tuesday that is thanks to this cold front it's going to be on the moderate side in terms of strength so let's time this out for you we've got that cold front getting to our northwestern counties with a pretty decent line of showers and thunderstorms with it heading just after midnight into tuesday morning that front getting to the coast right around sunrise time, maybe a little bit before then. Some of the storms up to our northeast could be a little bit on the stronger side. That's also where I'm expecting heavier rain totals to be. It's a little more patchy in terms of coverage down to our southwest. So temperatures behind this front dropping into the upper 60s, some places even a little cooler than that. But I think the good thing with this front, other, of other than, of course, the cooler temperatures, is the rain is going to be before a lot of folks are out and about for Election Day. So if you didn't hit the polls, we are going to see the things, uh, the radar clearing up heading into Tuesday after work or heading into your lunch break. We are going to see things clearing up, so that's definitely nice. You're not going to have to hold on to the umbrella. In terms of tropics, we have Patty out in the Atlantic. We're not concerned about that. We're watching Invest 97L here in the Caribbean. It's got a high chance of development over both the next 48 hours and seven days. So this, as well as this other smaller area of interest, are going to be steered towards the northwestern Caribbean by this high pressure, at which point it's going to enter the Gulf of Mexico, the southeastern Gulf of Mexico, by midweek later this week. So where it goes from there is going to depend on this trough of low pressure as well as high pressure here. And we're going to leave it at that because we have a nice big web right up for y'all on our web page. But I don't think it's something for us to worry about here in Corpus Christi. Today we are going to be quite windy with high temperatures around 90 degrees. So definitely feeling more like summer than fall here for this first weekend of November. It's going to feel like fall finally though, heading into election day with those afternoon high temperatures right up under 80.